This is my top 10 fragrances I usually gravitate toward when I go to the gym. Stay tuned. What is going on guys and welcome again to another video. I was actually doing a reel with my scent of the day heading to the gym and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a quick video with my fragrances that I usually gravitate toward when I head to the gym. I personally, and I talk about myself and to each his own, but I hate the fact that some people really wear bolder fragrances heading to the gym and suffocate themselves first of all and suffocate people around them. And that honestly happened to me before. I just hate the fact when somebody passes by me and he just have that bold, very strong fragrance and just kind of like invade my personal space. I feel like I'm judging that fragrance based on that and I just hate judging people. So if your point of view and opinion applies to mine, please stay tuned and watch my top 10 fragrances that I usually tend to wear going to the gym. These fragrances, they're not in any particular order. They're actually 12 fragrances and, and two honorable mentions just because they are niche fragrances and they tend to be a little bit more expensive. But I usually wear soapy or very fresh light fragrances to the gym and with a very light sprays. And my first honorable mention, and I think it's only an honorable mention just because it's expensive, niche, and usually I don't recommend wearing niche fragrances to the gym just because of the price point, but to each his own. If you feel like wearing expensive frag fragrances to the gym, you do you. And that fragrance would be Neroli 36 by Lulabo. This is such a beautiful scent. Very extremely fresh, invigorating with some metallic notes that I enjoy with a little bit of white florals that makes this fragrance a bit sexy. Not a big shouter, but it lasts for a long time and I really, really do enjoy this fragrance going to the gym. The second honorable mention that I think it's great for the gym as well, it's very fresh, invigorating with some minty nuances, but it, it it's beautiful, okay? And I'm talking about Aqua Celestia by uh, MFK, Maison Francis Kirk John. I just love to wear this fragrance in the hotter weather period, okay? But in the gym, oh my God, this is something else. Try, please try this fragrance out going to the gym and you wouldn't regret it. But honestly, you probably would regret the price point on it. All right, my number 10 on this list is another niche fragrance, but it's a little bit on the cheaper side. I personally think it's the best Zingy Bergamot niche fragrance in the market, and it has been like, like that for the longest time. And I'm talking about Atelier Cologne Bergamot Soleil. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent, guys. It just can't get fresher. Try, if you have been tried it out, you wouldn't regret it. All right, my number nine on my list, and again, these are not in any particular order, and that was my scent of the day today, or right now, heading to the gym, and I'm talking about Prada Amber Pro Arm. You just can't go wrong with this fragrance, guys. It's very soapy, but it's kind of like luxuriously soapy fragrance. It's not a big shadow, but it lasts for a long time. I personally enjoy it a lot on my skin. It just makes me feel fresh and invigorating. Heading to the gym or otherwise, I don't care. This fragrance is awesome. Another Prada fragrance, and I'm talking about Prada Lum. This is what's it right now when it comes to Prada fragrances. A lot of people love this scent, and they love it for a reason. It smells very fresh, but sexy fresh, and it's really hard to pull out a very sexy, fresh scent. They just don't make them that often, and Prada Lum is one of those fragrances. Try it out. Another cheapy but goody, and I'm talking about Eternity Aqua. It's very cheap as well, so you can always respray if you want to, but I feel like it, it lasts not bad on my skin at all. And it's very cheap as well. It's a very blue aquatic fragrance with the Eternity DNA. It's beautiful. It's my favorite Eternity. All right, another beautiful scent I usually love to wear in the hot summer weather, and I'm talking about Un Jardin sur le Nil by Hermès. This is such a beautiful scent. It's very fresh, zingy, but what makes it different than the other zingy fragrances is the green mango notes. It is beautiful and different enough to own if you love fresh fragrances. Try this fragrance out. Mont Blanc Explorer is the next fragrance on this list. It's a very fresh fragrance. It's inspired by Aventus, but it's much fresher than Aventus, and it's a fraction of Aventus price. Beautiful, sexy scent, and the scent trails it leaves. It's just phenomenon, okay? Try this fragrance out. The next fragrance I have on this list, it's Mugler Fly Away. If you love Pomplumus and fragrances with vetiver, that's a fragrance for you. It's beautiful, beautiful, sexy, sexy scent. Even though it's fresh and linear, but it's got character into it. Try this fragrance out. This is a sleeper. Not a lot of people talk about it. Another Mugler fragrance, and I'm talking about Mugler Cologne this time. You just can't go wrong with this scent. It's beautiful. It smells like green Irish soap. If you're familiar with this type of soap, that's how this fragrance smells, and it smells awesome. You just can't go wrong with this scent when it's hot outside or if you're going to the gym. 
Last but not least, I'm talking about Armoff Hunter Intense. This is a beautiful scent. You just gotta be careful with the sprays on this one just because it is stronger. It smells like a combination of Sauvage and Lacoste White. So if you love this combination, this is it. It's very cheap, affordable. Uh, it's got some good performance on my skin. It is debatable though. Some people think this is not a great performer, but this one on my skin, maybe this, I, this is an older batch too. It performs amazingly. So take that with a grain of salt, but the smell alone is fantastic. So try this fragrance out, it's a must. So this is it guys, this is the 12 fragrances I tend to wear when I head to the gym and I love these fragrances for that. My applying method heading to the gym with these fragrances, usually I spray one spray on my inner elbow each side and one spray on the back of my neck. I usually don't spray here just because I don't wanna suffocate myself when my body temperature rises and it's gonna go up to my nose and it's, it's gonna make me feel not good. So again, if your opinion applies to mine, please let me know in the comment section down below and let me know in the comment section down below what are your favorite fragrances to wear when you head to the gym. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe and follow my Instagram page. I'm just going to leave links down below. See you guys next time. Peace.